Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Rendog coming at you from on top of the Great Bridge in this Let's Play Minecraft Survival Series. And in the background, you can see the Lakeside Villa, a structure that we've been building for some time now. In fact, this is now the fourth or fifth episode of construction, I think. But man, it has been an epic build! Woo! Man, I have enjoyed it so much. And look how sweet it's looking from a distance. I thought I'd show you guys what it looks like from over here. Um, while the sun is up and while we have a decent view of the place. Um, so what I noticed while I was running away was that we need to make the edges of this roof a lot um, steeper. Because look at that. We've got the stairs on the inside, but we don't have it on the outside. So I thought what we do in this episode is try and sort that out and then also... Um, try and start working on the canals which are going to run underneath the lakeside villa that is that are going to join the lake to the ocean and man that is that was a suggestion by one of you cyber dogs and i thought it was such a sweet suggestion that i am going to freaking do it guys and you know i really appreciate all of your guys comments um, and i do read them all and whenever i see a, an idea that i really like um, more often than not, I will do it, guys. So if you have sudden, if you have an epiphany while you're watching these videos, and suddenly you think, "Man, you know what would be sweet if X, Y, Z happened," and you guys put it in the comments, I will probably read it. And if I like your sweet ass idea, it will freaking happen in this series. Um, so let's let's have a look at at what it looks like now. Well, except, except for the fact that I put that stair on incorrectly, I think that definitely looks better. So let's make a couple more stairs. Um, we, so we just have to craft a few more stairs, man. So I've, I've been on a crazy mission to get more freaking sand because we ran out of sand again. Um, I'm, you know, I'm using just an insane amount of sand in this project and um, I'm probably going to have to go get more sand at some point. Um, I've used most of my freaking sand already on the Lakeside Villa, but I mean, that's what happens when you make an entire building out of freaking sand. And you guys can also see that I've added a couple more layers here. You can see that I've built the two floors of the of the two rooms that are going to go there and there. And I thought what we'd do is we'd make the bottom floor kind of like the kitchen slash crafting area and box room. And we'd have all our boxes and all of our crafting um, gear there. And then the top room would be my bedroom um, where we would have a bed, maybe a couple couches. Some of you guys have been telling me how to make couches in the comment section below. So that is sweet. I now, I now know how to make some couches and some tables also thanks to you guys. And um, I think what we need to do is also uh, finish off the peak here. So check it out, right? No, man, I just I just did it the wrong way again. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Bam! There we go. And bam! Okay, sweet. Let's go have a look what that looks like from a distance. I think this is going to look even better. I don't know. We might might go back to how it was before. I did really like the look of it before, but... Something tells me that it needs to have stairs going up there just to to help with the symmetry. So let's have a look back at what it looks like. Hmm. Well, I think it I think it looks more professional in a way, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm, I'm going to go with you guys on this one. Do you like um, the stairs in this shape, or do you prefer it in the old style? Um, I'll leave it like this for now, and I will be checking the comment section, guys. Um, to see what you guys think about that and if you don't like th that new design I will freaking change it for you guys now one of you guys also commented that you weren't mad about these um, th the wood up here and I think I do agree with you um, what you what you mentioned was that what perhaps we should do is get rid of this wood right uh, uh, where we, there we go so we get rid of the wood and then instead we add um, a, s a bit of slabbage um, we need to make a bit of slabbage. So check it out, right? So we make a bit of slabbage. And I think that you might actually be right, um, whoever you were who made this comment. But I think you might be right on this one. So let's check it out. Let us head back up and let's put a let's try put a piece of slabbage up here and see what that looks like. Kablam! Um, <laughs> well, we can't see anything because there's no light up here. But what the beep? Hmm. Okay, so there we go. So we just we just had a bit of light glitching going on over there. So let's and again with the light glit, uh, with the freaking light glitching. Right, let's get rid of these. Okay, so what do you guys think about that? Hmm, I actually, you know what, man? I think that you may have got this one right. 
Um, I think I'm totally with you on this actually. I think what we're going to do is instead of having wood up here, which does actually look a bit weird in retrospect, um, we're going to have slabbage. Yeah, this, this is actually looking way better, isn't it? Oh yeah. There we go. Except for the light glitching, man. That is annoying. I don't know how we're going to solve that problem, but that's going to look much better, especially with the, um, with the pillars. And one of you guys also mentioned that you didn't like the thickness of this pillar up here. And I freaking agree with you, man. Um, I think we're going to deal with those pillars. But all of that work is going to get done off camera, guys, just because it's going to take too long. Now, there was another experiment that I wanted to try. One of you guys mentioned that if you put two sandstone slabs on top of, and on top of each other, it makes hieroglyphs or something in the original texture pack. So let's check it out. Kablam! Oh, okay. So that doesn't actually do anything. Uh, that would have been freaking sweet if that actually did work. Um, so, man, I don't know what we're going to do about the lighting glitch, but that is, that is pretty annoying. But I'm going to make this section of the entrance hall look like that um, rather than the wood and i think that's going to look freaking amazing okay so <laughs> geez man um we had we've had a couple of distractions in this episode what we were going to do in this episode and what we're going to do now is head down underneath the lakeside villa and get building of the canals now what we're going to be doing is connecting the lakeside of the lakeside villa to the ocean but first we're going to own the butthole of this ender butt take it to the ender butt take it take it come on you bastard oh god his friends he's got friends this is not good must eat why did i try take on enderman with no life what is wrong with me? Run! Run! Woo! Damn! Whoa! Oh my goodness, that scared the living daylights out of me. Come! Come at me! Come at me, man! Come, we're gonna battle on the road. It's just you and me and a butt. Oh god, there's a creeper! No! Where are you, you bastard? Whew, man, things are getting tense around here. <laughs> hmm. Where did that Enderman go, man? I need his eyeball. I mean... Whew, man, when he teleported behind me... Guys, how many of you guys jumped as far as I did? Because I literally jumped out of my seat. Whew, man, that was crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure he's down there. Um, and I'm failing miserably to, to get to him. Charge! There you are! Now you're trapped! Oh, God. Oh, God! Help me! This is not good, people. This is not good. Our safety has been compromised. Dude. Back up. <laughs> he was like, man, if the Enderman's getting busy, I'm going to get busy. So I can't believe we actually have, haven't killed that Enderman yet, man. Where is he? There he is. Come. 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 It's you and me. No! <laughs> Oh, thank you, Creeper. You actually helped me there, man. You blew up the butt of the Ender Butt. <sighs> man, that was... <laughs> that was crazy. That was a, a battle that probably shouldn't have happened. Um, and thank God that nothing... That I didn't die and nothing got seriously damaged. Ow. Just took an arrow to the ear. Take it to the thigh, you bastard! Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. So guys, let's get focused here, man. Let us build this canal. Um, we just have to clear the area of uh, freaking mobs. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, if... Shoot the skeleton. Shoot the skeleton. Then I get a CD. Oh, oh. I thought I'd get a CD if, you, if a skeleton kills a zombie. Oh, how depressing. Bam! Bam! Headshot! 
Man, we just gotta <laughs> we just gotta clear some of these mobs up from up in here, man. This, this is getting crazy. The sun is coming up, so um, everything is gonna get back to normal. We can get get busy crafting, man. This <laughs> this has been cra oh. Why do spiders always spawn in my rooms? Why? Man. Alright, any <laughs> anyway, that was a that was the most mob killing we've done in a long time. So let's get back to business, peeps. What we're doing is connecting the lakeside lake to the lakeside ocean. That is the plan, right? And what I wanted to do was make it nice and neat and maybe have like a, um, like a harbor or something down here. So there would be like a shipyard here, for example, where um, there, there, there might be just a single canal where you, with a dispenser that spits out boats, for example. And then um, you would be able to get into the boat um, and go either to the lake. I don't know what you would actually do in the lake, but um, maybe we'll do some fishing actually in the lake. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, you know, we could just like, <laughs> just just float to the middle there and do some fishing. Um, that could be pretty sweet. But guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear away this area in fast forward mode. So let's hit the fast forward freaking button. I'll see you back in one second. Kablam! Alright guys, we are back and I have cleared the area and man, uh, my heart is still racing from that freaking Enderman fight. You know, you know that Minecraft is a good game when after 96 episodes you still get the crap scared out of you when, a, when you face an Enderman. Man. Even in, di in, in diamond armor. Um, man, but I, you know, I almost actually died there, which, which would have just been the most embarrassing freaking thing ever. Um, oh god, it would have been horrendous if I had died. Um, but now that now that I think back on it, I actually almost did die. <laughs> it, would, it just would have been terrible. I think you guys would have disowned me, man. It would just would have been insta unsubscribe um, if I had died at that stage. Level 22, with we're eight levels away from enchanting something, which is awesome. Now back to the task at hand, and that is building the canals. Um, so what I thought I would do is try and work out exactly. Um, so, okay, so the end of the villa is over here, right? So I'm going to try and work out the exact middle of this business. Um, so here's, this is the end of the villa. This is the end of, of the villa wall. One, two, three, four, five. We're just going to put a placeholder. One, two, three. And then let's go to this side. Where is the beginning of the villa? Um, it's probably, we probably need to clear this out uh, more though, I would think. But I'm, I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to use this wall as the, the start of um, the, the canal section. Um, so, man, I hear, I hear a freaking zombie. Where are you, you freaking butt bandit? I killed your ass! Alright, anyway. Um, so this is going to be the start of, of this side, right? So we're going to have... One, two, three, four, five, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's only it's actually only four between the, the spaces. One, one, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. So the middle is actually almost almost exact oh it is exactly where I was digging. Holy holy mackerel. That is some luck right there, man. I just guessed that. Um, wow, did you just hear that sound? I think that is actually the game recognizing the lakeside villa as being big enough to be a, ca <laughs> a cavern or something, man. That is crazy. Um, I, I've never built a, a room big enough to be recognized as a cavern. That, that is just absurd. Um, absurdly awesome. Right, so this is going to be the canal, right? Um, and we're going to make it too deep. And what we're going to do is probably line it also um, with sandstone or... S yeah, or I don't know. We're, we're, we're going to line it with some material. Now, what, what don't we need here? We don't need bones. We don't need freaking zombie bones and seeds. I mean, honestly. Get in my belly. Iron. Mm. Iron. <laughs> I like saying it like that. I just found me some urn. 
I'm going to mine that urn. <laughs> uh, just testing out my uh, American accent there, guys. Uh, apologies. I'm sure it was absolutely terrible. Right, let's crack some of this ice. Now, guys, a lot of you have been... Oh, man, you guys have been, get, been the most amazing freaking viewers ever over the last four episodes. Um, and I think it's just because we've, we, I've been working really closely with you on building the Lakeside Villa. I've, I've been trying to be as... Um, work as closely with you guys and take everything you say to heart um, in this construction. And what one of you guys said that is if I put a pool on the roof, it is... Well, lots of you guys said this, in fact. If I put a pool on the roof, it is going to turn to ice. And that is, yeah, that is really true. So we're going to have to try and work something out, um, how to stop that. Some of you guys suggested using glowstone, which I think is a great idea, or using lava underneath to make like a jacuzzi type effect. That might work too. Um, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do at this stage, but um, we're going to do something. Um, and it's, it is going to be sweet. Um, Okay, so this is going to be the canal, right? We're not, we're not going to flood it yet, but we're going to have to get an infinite water source and a, and a butt ton of buckets to fill the canal. Um, but this is the canal space, and what we're going to do is have like like um, a harbor of some kind, right? So why don't we why don't we make a harbor like hmm. So if this is the start of the canal, right? Let's go like this. Just to try and figure out exactly where to put our harbor, right? We want to keep want to keep things symmetrical. What I what I said from the beginning of this project, from the beginning of the um, of the villa project, is that I'm going to try and make this build as as um, as perfect as possible because you know the outpost is a oh god, it it makes me shiver at the the sheer unsymmetricalness of the outpost man it's just it's it's just it's just revolting really and unacceptable and um, I'm trying my best to to make sure that that doesn't happen again in our uh, lakeside villa so um, I think that this is going to be the harbor right over here um, that's looking good nice and symmetrical and what we'll do is we'll have a canal going into the, the main canal like that right so um, so that's looking good man let let's dig out this freaking harbor Oh, it's got coal in it. Ain't that lucky. Let's just dig this bad boy out. And uh, don't worry, guys. I will be um, getting rid of this coal and everything um, very, very soon. Most of this sort of tedious work I'm going to do off camera, guys. So um, don't worry. I'm not going to bore you with, with the tidying of things. But I do want to do these major constructions with you. Just so that, um, you know, I'm keeping you guys with me all the time just in case you spot something that maybe doesn't look cool or or you have some really sweet suggestions you know what i'm saying man can you believe we are f what four episodes from episode 100 man that is that is seriously crazy um i can't believe we've got to 100 episodes in the series when i first started doing this series i never even thought we'd get over 50 to be honest i thought um yeah i don't, I don't know i just when I first started playing Minecraft, I thought to myself, well, how much can you actually do in this game? <laughs> Surely there can't be more than 50 episodes worth of stuff you can do. Um, how wrong I was. Um, I mean, we're almost at our episode 100 and we actually haven't done anything. <laughs> well, we've built a mole hole, we've built an outpost, and we've built a villa. And uh, that's basically all we've done in 100 episodes. Um, and when you put it that way, um, it's actually not that much. <laughs> Oh man, and I can't wait to get onto the next hundred episodes, man. Um, I'm definitely going to start doing some more advanced stuff like brewing, going to the Nether, like doing all of that good jazz. Um, I'm really looking forward to the next hundred episodes with you guys, man. I hope you guys are too, man. It's been, it has been quite a ride, has it not? Um, it's been epic, seriously, absolutely epic. Um, but anyway, back to the present, peeps. Look at this. So this is going to be the harbor right here i think we're, we're going to keep wow there's a spider going absolutely crazy somewhere um we're going to keep this natural pool over here i kind of like it and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn all of this into sandstone um or some other block maybe um maybe maybe where's that stone maybe 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 this block stone bricks maybe that that could work um let me know what you guys think man i'd love to get your opinion on this 
Um, our harbor is going to be over here. It actually doesn't look like it's centered at all. <laughs> it looks like, it looks in fact completely uncentered. What have I done here? One, two, three, four, five is where this starts. And one, two, three, four, five. It is actually centered. It just it just doesn't look like it. I think it's because of the um, of the textures here that uh, that's the reason why it's doing it. So this is going to be the harbor, right? Looking good. I am digging it. And what we're going to do is um, also put up some pillars um, because obviously we've got some serious physics fails going on over here. Um, so we'll we'll have like a pillar here. Um, oh God, it's night time again. Um, well, we're going to end the video soon, guys, because the sun is going down and um, I'm running out of hard drive space. But we'll have a pillar here, a pillar there, um, you know, another pillar over here, perhaps. Maybe we'll put a pillar in the middle of the water. You know, that might be pretty sweet, like a, a pillar, kind of like the pillars for the Great Bridge. Um, we could do that style of pillar. That could work. So here's a pillar. Let's just put one here anyway, just for... Um, just for mock-up's sake, really. Don't worry, guys. This is def nowhere near the, the final build, but um, just to give us a general idea of what it's going to look like. So there's going to be pillars like that, and uh, this is what the harbor is going to look like, and it is going to be freaking sweet, my people. But, um, man, we don't really have time for any more because the sun is down, mobs are spawning, there are going to be creepers climbing up my ass very, very shortly, and I need, I need to get my ass out of here, man. Um, and of course, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm about to run out of hard drive space, which means I'm going to have to stop recording after I kill this butthole. Um, but man, guys, it has been fun. Thank you so much for joining me. And I, uh, he just broke my freaking diamond helmet, the bastard. That is not cool. Um, but anyway, guys, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this episode as much as I have. It's been an adventure, man. Been fighting mobs, been building canals, and uh, the Lakeside Villa is starting to look really sweet. And thanks, as always, for all of your comments, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and leave me a comment in the comment section below. Seriously, I love your freaking comments and your likes and everything. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, guys. I make daily videos of Minecraft, well, as daily as I possibly can. And of course, there's loads more coming um, from Minecraft and from Take It and from a whole bunch of other stuff. Who knows what the future holds? Um, it's just goodness. And guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. We'll see you in the next video. Good bye.